Hello, Patreon backers. So this is our first behind the scenes cell phone shot video. The plan for these is I'm going to be shooting these on a phone. The goal is to not involve anyone else on the team and involve as little of my time as possible because we need to focus on testing on the core content on the stuff you all like. However, there's a lot that I'd like to show and I feel like it's a good extra, uh, I think they call them reward tiers for Patreon. So I'm gonna unlock these for certain tiers in Patreon. We'll show behind the scenes with some level of regularity and they will be pushed to some degree to the side channel or the main channel depending on what the content is but it'll be later so it's not necessarily like a week of early access but it's it could be two weeks it could be three weeks i have no idea so we're just gonna kind of do it live and see what happens there's a lot of cool stuff i'm doing right now though so i'm gonna go through some of it andrew's just left for the night uh he worked not as late tonight as the last few nights it's only like two or three a.m right now uh, we worked till 5 on AM on the Titan V launch when we got it in. So that was a long night. And, uh, yeah, just kind of going through everything that's stockpiled now to figure out what is happening next. So like I said, we were working on the Titan V, which is actually over here still under a thermocouple reader. We were working on the Titan V uh, immediately when it came in. Not to, not to do the, like, oh, poor me, I don't sleep much thing, but I think... The last three days, I've gotten about seven total hours of sleep, and that's because of the Titan V. So it's it's been pretty serious. I mean, we go really uh, hands-on with it when stuff comes in. So I, I ordered a bunch of stuff. Uh, I needed another wireless card. Not exciting. Velcro, not exciting. This thing is just like a, another adapter that I needed for my laptop. I really like the laptop I got. I didn't realize that it has no Ethernet cable. I think that's stupid. They should just make them the extra millimeter thicker. Like, seriously, please. Uh, there's the torn down 1070 Ti. That's coming up on the channel soon, if not already. It's uh, the ultra silent card, a bit thicker on the heat sink. And that's our new mod mat. You've probably seen it a couple times now. This is, so this is uh, some behind the scenes for you. Oh, ultra behind the scenes. There's the camera. Um, so this is kind of beat up right now because <clears throat> I basically modified this after it came in. We're making a switch over to a better uh, grounding point before shipping the product. So this is going to be late January, early February is when it will ship from us to the pre-order people. And if you haven't pre-ordered, you can do it on store.gamersnexus.net slash modmat. So you'll see this soon on the channel. Uh, ignore like all the stuff I, I was really digging. So basically the last few days I've been doing to this mat what we do to products. I've been stabbing it with screwdrivers, trying to inflict damage. Uh, I've been cutting it with knives to see how it holds up. It actually, ha it's one of those mats, kind of like, almost like yoga mat material where it kind of self heals a little bit when you stab it. So this was one of those attempts. I stabbed a hole in it to put a better mounting point on it. So this is all part of basically just destruction of it. Like we do with products. I'm applying my review philosophy to our own product. So hopefully that'll make it better and make me not a hypocrite. Uh, yeah, so that's the ground, common ground point. There's a banana plug, wrist strap, that goes in there. Uh, this goes over to the wall, it connects to the ground pin, third pin, as usual. This is super behind the scenes. This is our wind tunnel setup we're working on. Uh, so these are flow diffusers, basically, and positioned at known points in the tube. There's a fan we're calibrating with. Uh, Corsair is aiding in the development of this test methodology. And uh, then we're gonna put our existing hot wire wind vane anemometer thing on there that we use for the Noctua fan testing. So that'll get back into use. So that's kind of cool. Um, working on some big cooler testing for the air cooler roundup. Hopefully we'll have that done by end of year. We'll see. I need to redo some of the test methodology because these are throwing some throwing some new problems at me that I need to solve. Uh, we've mostly done CLCs this year, but that's not going to be too difficult to fix. So we'll work on that soon. Uh, let's move into the other room and check out some of the other stuff I have going on. We have, we just set up a 10 gigabit network switch. It's a Buffalo switch. Those fans are kind of loud. I'm not getting 10 gigabit from my, I have this Synology NAS link aggregated. So we have, it's going to get kind of dark. We have four Ethernet cables coming out of it going straight into the switch. My hope was to link aggregate those and get four gigabits per second out of the Synology unit. 
so we can read and write to our uh, Andrews system over here. So we can read and write to this at a good enough pace that, uh, you know, we can move four gigabits per second. That'd be what? Like just under 500 megabytes per second to and from the NAS so we can start editing off the NAS instead of off the RAID 3 hard drives in here. It's proving to be a bit of a challenge. I'm still working on the networking of that. We routed all the cables. I bought some new uh, cyber power, not the one you know, but the, the uh, UPS cyber power. Bought some of their UPSs, like this one. These were half off on Black Friday, so that's what I picked up. They actually just came in handy today because we tripped the breaker again today when we were running the Titan V on this bench fully maxed out because I was uh, probing the uh, core and HBM voltage for Buildzoid. So that plus the bench that Patrick had going. So Patrick had, this is my, uh, I, I, I'm very proud of this. This is my solution to cooler testing on a, an open air bench. It's actually brilliant to be fully honest with you. And then we did this as well. So this is my other customization mounted uh, a VRM cooling fan straight to the side of the VRM. So that's actually working out really well. I love these mods. But uh, yeah, Patrick was running this system ITX system. This motherboard's got all kinds of problems. It's an MSI Gaming Pro Carbon board and 1080i. So he had that going. Uh, this is my new mod, by the way. <laughs> uh, this used to be all over the table. Now it's all over the wall instead. So I'm actually pretty happy you pleased with this as well. It's just Velcroed to the wall. Um, but yeah, so that was going while the Xbox One X was going. Xbox One X was going and feeding through our uh, splitter and then into it's going to get really dark into the capture card on this bench give you some perspective here so that's a basically a kind of a go between server it just sits there and receives benchmark data live and interprets it and analyzes it so he was running that to the Xbox and we were determining uh, at what graphics quality settings a PC equals an Xbox. So we're working on that. Shelf of RAM, shelf of CPUs, uh, motherboards that are actively in use. There's a bunch more elsewhere. A VR got broken back out of the Fitz cage for Doom VFR testing. That's going horribly wrong. I can't get, can't get the Vive to work, actually. Uh, other changes? I don't know. Lots of video cards, as always. And uh, then we got a care package from Thermal Grizzly. So that's most of it, I think. Yeah, so that's most of it. First, I, I don't know, behind the scenes vlog thing for you guys. Uh, this is the last thing I have is a, another 10 gigabit card. Troubleshooting the ROG Aeron one that I have right now. It's not doing what I want. So I bought that one I just showed you. Hopefully that fixes the 10 gigabit problem. That's our ongoing challenge right now is get the render machine transacting at at least four gigabits per second to the NAS so we can get off of the internal RAID and uh, have better data redundancy. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you thought. I, these will get better as I do more of them. And, uh, yeah, as always, subscribe for more. You probably already are. If you're on Patreon, thank you very much for being there. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the new mod mats at store.gamersnexus.net slash modmat. We're going to make the first round based on the pre-orders, and then we'll keep restocking them as they sell out as usual. So that's all. See you next time.